Racing down between the final two flights. Glenn Zavantram eases on for Jody McGarvey and goes on by two to three lengths. Windsor Dine in a mistake in second, being passed now by Emily Roebling. But racing up towards the finish, it's Glenn Zavantram who's easing clear, quickening up well here and is going to win the open route. The long odds on favourite for Jason McManus, William Mullins and Jody McGarvey. Glenn Zavantram the winner. Second, Emily Roebling just holds on to that round, Miss Power in third. And racing down between the final two flights, Glenn Zavantram eases on for Jody McGarvey and goes on by two to three lengths. Windsor Dine in a mistake in second, being passed now by Emily Roebling. But racing up towards the finish, it's Glenn Zavantram who's easing clear, quickening up well here and is going to win the opener. The long odds on favourite for J.P. McManus, William Mullins and Jody McGarvey. Glenn Zavantram the winner. Second, Emily Roebling just holds on to that round, Miss Power in third. Beth Horan next, ahead of Lady Rita and Kilbarry Chianti and Windsor Diamond. Racing down towards the final fence, and it's the priest leap with King Alex coming through the challenge on the inside, on the outside at the last. King Alex lands with a fractional advantage over the priest leap in second. Feel good island switch towards the stand side. King Alex, the priest leap on the far side. King Alex with the advantage up to the line. King Alex by half a length to the priest leap, and it's going to score. King Alex from the priest leap in second. Feel good island. Racing down towards the final fence, and it's the priest leap with King Alex coming through the challenge on the inside, on the outside at the last. King Alex. Lands with a fractional advantage over the Priest Leap in second. Feel good island switch towards the stand side. King Alex, the Priest Leap on the far side. King Alex with the advantage up to the line. King Alex by half a length to the Priest Leap and is going to score. King Alex from the Priest Leap in second. Feel good island. Half a length away in third. Clear of Farsu de Large, Razzle Razzle Love, Norwegi and Calcas. And racing down between the final two fences is Lord Schnitzel is extending its advantage and goes on by six to eight lengths at the last. Lord Schnitzel spring heel at it. Jumps a clear of his real champ in second. Duke Hill in midway to get away in three loud knocks next. But racing inside the final 150 yards. It's Lord Schnitzel is out clear. Has led from the drop of the flag and is going to win as well. Up the line. Lord Schnitzel wins for Declan Quealy and Chris O'Donovan. Second is a real champ. And racing down between the final two fences is Lord Schnitzel is extending its advantage and goes on by six to eight lengths at the last. Lord Schnitzel spring heel at it. Jumps a clear of his real champ in second. Duke Hill in midway to get away in three loud knocks next, but racing inside the final 150 yards. It's Lord Schnitzel is out clear, has led from the drop of the flag and is going to win as well. Up the line, Lord Schnitzel wins for Declan Quealy and Chris O'Donovan. Second is a real champ. Midway to get away, third, Duke Hill, four. They're followed by three loud knocks and exit 11. Down towards the final flight, it's Eric Bloodaxe and Brian Cooper out in front and jumps it well again, lands three in front of Freedom to Dream second, third Angel Zone, a mistake by Ivan. And racing inside the final 100 yards, it's Eric Bloodaxe staying on strongly out in front and racing up the line. Eric Bloodaxe going to land this for Joseph O'Brien and Brian Cooper by about half a dozen lengths in the end. Eric Bloodaxe the winner from Freedom to Dream second, Angel Zone third. Down towards the final flight, it's Eric Bloodaxe and Brian Cooper out in front and jumps it well again, lands three in front of Freedom to Dream second, third Angel Zone, a mistake by Ivan. And racing inside the final 100 yards, it's Eric Bloodaxe staying on strongly out in front and racing up the line. Eric Bloodaxe going to land this for Joseph O'Brien and Brian Cooper by about half a dozen lengths in the end. Eric Bloodaxe the winner from Freedom to Dream second, Angel Zone third, Ivan for Brampton Bell next, ahead of Humble Glory and Robin to Glory. But down to the final flight is Caradon Boy who's finding in front. And over the last Caradon Boy lands half a length in front of the Truant in second. Cashy in third. Ballon O'Biden four. Racing inside the final 150 yards. It's Caradon Boy on the far side. The Truant having a good go on the stand side. Half a length between them as they race up to the line. Caradon Boy is going to hold on and score. Caradon Boy by half a length from the Truant in second. Cashy is third. But down to the final flight is Caradon Boy who's finding in front. And over the last Caradon Boy lands half a length in front. Of the Truant in second, Cashy in third, Ballon O'Biden four. Racing inside the final 150 yards, it's Caradon Boy on the far side. The Truant having a good go on the stand side. Half a length between them as they race up to the line. Caradon Boy is going to hold on and score. Caradon Boy by half a length from the Truant in second. Cashy is third, fourth was Ballon O'Biden ahead of Zalika and Eagle Rock. Heading down to the final flight, it's T's components, yes, by a length of two. Jumps it well again, two in front of Castle Grange in second, Craig and Ned third. And racing up towards the final 150 yards, it's T's components, yes, who's out in front by three to four lengths over Castle Grange in second. And racing up towards the line, it's T's components, yes, by two, two and a half up to the line. T's components, yes, wins it for Shark Hanlon and Shane Fennell. Heading down to the final flight, it's T's components, yes, by a length of two. Jumps it well again, two in front of Castle Grange in second, Craig and Ned third. And racing up towards the final 150 
150 yards. It's his component, yes, who's out in front by three to four lengths over Castle Grange in second and racing up towards the line. It's T's component, yes, by two, two and a half up to the line. T's component, yes, wins it for Shark Hanlon and Shane Fennell from second. Castle Grange third was Craig and Ned and they're followed in four by my uncas and the staying on donkey years ahead. On Forgas being challenged on the inside by Champagne Storm, but on Forgas is finding a bit in front. Must have love a love on the outside of Happy Victories. The race down inside the final for and a half. And on Forgas, on Forgas is finding more out in front. Must have love a love and now giving chase in second as they race well inside the last. It's on Forgas and James Conheedy out in front and is stretching its lead. And a remarkable victory here for on Forgas, led by a distance at one stage, came right back to the field, but has gone on to win again by about four lengths. On Forgas being challenged on the inside by Champagne Storm, but on Forgas is finding a bit in front. Must have love a love on the outside of Happy Victories. The race down inside the final for and a half. And on Forgas, on Forgas is finding more out in front. Must have love a love and now giving chase in second. As they race well inside the last, it's on Forgas and James Conheedy out in front and is stretching its lead. And a remarkable victory here for on Forgas, led by a distance at one stage, came right back to the field, but has gone on to win again by about four lengths. Must have love a love in second. In third was Mullinery ahead of Happy Victory, Champagne Storm, Busty Boy.